In 2016, I decided that I wanted to knit the flat drawstring cast off without the pretty star or the difficult end. In order to do this, I needed a flatter, easier drawstring for my tiny doll pattern. And that worked out well. But this year, while I was designing my teddy bear pattern, I found that I needed to update it and make it easier for you guys because I think it's such a great cast off. So here is a clip of the mini teddy bear pattern video that is coming soon. Once you're done knitting the total number of rows, you're ready for the cast off. We're gonna use my modified version of the flat drawstring cast off, which is kinda easy and kinda not. You're gonna start by wrapping the working yarn around your loom two times because yeah you need a long tail and go ahead and cut your yarn and you're going to get your hook and what we're going to do is you're going from the bottom here's peg one from the bottom you're going to come and scoop your yarn up and feed it through go behind the next peg and bring it forward with your hook again, scoop it from the bottom up and feed it through. Take the working yarn behind the next peg, like so. Bring it back to the front. With the hook, scoop it up and feed it through. And you're going to continue this process. You're skipping one and feeding the yarn through the next one. From the bottom upward and out and you're going to do that again for every other peg when you get back to the front you stop at peg 23 right here this is the anchor peg so in between because you want every other one and then you're going to remove the loops uh, off the pegs that you've worked on so the ones where you fed the yarn through those are the ones you're removing this time Okay, so go all the way around the yarn, I'm sorry, all the way around the loom until you've removed all the pegs um, that you fed the working yarn through. And then you can pull it and you'll see that it's every other one. You see as you pull the drawstring. Okay, now on this second round, you're going to then do the loops that are left. So here's a peg with a loop, feed it through. You're basically again doing every other peg. Now this is going to give you two layers of drawstring and that's when it gets tricky. So that's why I'm saying that this technique is kind of easy and kind of not. It's all about your timing. So you're going to, once you remove these loops, I want you to work on this rather slowly. You can do this part quickly because you're just going to feed your yarn through. Um, again, all of the pegs that have loops, you're going to feed your working yarn through them. And um, once you're done, just like before, you're going to remove those loops off of your pegs. And what you're working on right now is the head and torso of your bear. So let's go ahead and move those off and keep in mind that this is the top part of your bear. All right, so now you've got your fabric off the loom and I want you to see that there are two layers, see? Unlike other um, cast-ons and cast-off, this one has two. So you wanna keep in mind in the direction that you were knitting. And that's how you're gonna pull this drawstring and you don't want to do it all at one time. I know it seems you get the urge to do that, but fight that urge. Don't close it all at one time. As you can see, I'm pulling the inside first slowly because this can become a knot. And then I do a little bit of that um, other, that second one. So you see here where it becomes a second row. So first you do the inside a little bit at a time, pulling on it. Don't rush it. Um, it's better to do this again as you know slowly and you pull like a little bit at a time from the inside, a little bit from the outside and then pull your drawstring because uh, you do want, it's a lot of string and you want to get that out. So you're pulling on the inside, 
to close it up. Don't worry too, too much about the inside. Your bigger problem, well, your bigger task is getting the outside uh, portion nice and closed. So as you can see, I'm almost there and ta-da, it's closed. See, and it's nice and flat. This is why it's the top and then you're gonna stretch your fabric. I call this stretching your stitches because that's actually what you're doing, but it seems to confuse some folks. So this is stretching your fabric. And then as you can see, it's nice and flat and it'll look nice on the top of your bear. Then um, I get a pair of scissors and this one frailed a lot. So I'm gonna cut it off, get my metal um, needle. You can use the plastic and I'm gonna thread that um, working yarn and then I'm going to start sewing in a circular manner. So these top um, stitches, I just go ahead and put my needle through those top stitches and I'm going around in a circle. This uh, gives you a very nice clean look and uh, if you go around enough you kind of almost um, don't really need to make a knot it is a good idea to make one but it secures it really well so go ahead and sew your top nicely and then um, I do it at least two times if you're gonna make a knot one time is good enough but I like to have it nice and secure I don't want any issues so I make sure to go around uh, the circle at least twice and then you can um, Go ahead and push the needle back into the other side to the inside part and go ahead and make a knot and you can cut this string off. You're nice and secure and keep that string because you're going to use it for later and keep this uh, nice and situated. We're going to work with that uh, later as well. So put it to the side and let's start the next part. All right, so there are two main changes. To the original version, there are no pearl stitches, which is what takes away the pretty star. And to my original modified on this one, I only use one strand. Well, I hope this makes things easier. Please remember to share the video and don't forget to comment, like, and of course, if you haven't already done so, subscribe.